Hi, this is Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. and this video is about reishi mushroom and kidney disease. So reishi is a mushroom that you can take in a supplemental form, in a, in a pill form, which is preferred, and it's used for a variety of health conditions. And today, we're gonna to talk about how it could benefit kidney disease. And this is a, I'm doing a recap of a, a journal article published in the Journal of Advances in Pharmacology, volume 87. And they really covered reishi, and it was a really nice piece. And some of the research that they cited can help some of the following diseases. So the diseases I listed here, uh, autosomal PKD, diabetic nephropathy, which uh, accounts for a very large percentage of kidney failure. We also have proteinuria diseases, so autoimmune diseases. One of them is FSGS, which has shown some promise in. And the um, last one, these are cisplatin and andromycin nephrotoxicity, so these are chemotherapy drugs. And chemotherapy drugs are very toxic to the kidney, so if anybody's doing uh, chemotherapy, you want to do some things to protect your kidney at the same time. And so Rishi was shown to have some benefit. It helped lower proteinuria, it helped with inflammation, uh, it provided a lot of antioxidants, it did a lot of good things in this article review. And so it is something that you can try. Now if you do try it, you want to get a supplement form and you want to take a thousand, upwards of 3,000 a day, 3,000 milligrams a day, spaced out. So maybe you do 500 two to three times a day, or you do a thousand two to three times a day. And, and this is really what's gonna to show to help kidney disease. Now, with anything that you're gonna try and take, you wanna do a before and after blood work so you can know what the difference is, did it help? And you wanna give yourself like 60 to 90 days, okay, of before and after to see you know, what the results are. Now, there's another medicinal mushroom called cordyceps that I listed here. Now, if I was gonna try uh, an herb for kidney disease, I would use cordyceps first and then reishi or both together. All right, the reason I like cordyceps better is there's much more human studies and human trials on it. And I do have another video about that. We also have articles on our website about reishi and cordyceps, but even using them together can provide a synergistic effect which can help a variety of kidney diseases. So if you are interested in trying something natural, these are options, okay, options for these. We got the full article on our website with other uh, kidney disease issues that could potentially help. So feel free to visit our website at Healthy Kidney Inc. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody and to your best kidney health. Bye.